New at 5, Claire Davis is in critical condition at Littleton Adventist Hospital. Today at Arapahoe High School, flowers placed there in her honor as the high school senior fights for her life. Friends and family holding a vigil for Claire tonight. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson is there live at Arapahoe Park where people are just beginning to gather. Teresa, there has been an outpouring of support for this young lady. People just starting to show up here for this vigil. A couple hundred people, if not more, expected here tonight. People have been tweeting throughout the day prayers for Claire. I spoke with Claire's dad just a short time ago. He said she's not doing well, but he says he is grateful for the community's support. With this scene not far in their past, Arapahoe High School students are now trying to make sense of something so senseless. I don't know why bad things happen to good people. I wish I knew the answer to that. Claire Davis, seen in this Facebook photo, was shot when fellow classmate Carl Pearson came into the school hellbent on revenge. It's still unclear how she ended up in his path. I've heard that she tried to stop him from shooting our teacher, but then again, like I've heard that she was just like there and he shot her. I don't know. We don't know anything. Outside Arapaho High School, student Chris Davis is collecting money for Claire. We've gotten a really positive response from everybody at our school. Like we've got a couple hundred dollars already. He says helping her is helping him too. We're just just trying to help her out. We know what they're going through. We yesterday wasn't fun for us. Today isn't fun for us. Um, just trying to help them get through it as much as, and it's helping us get through it too. To friends, Claire is simply a sweetheart. Facebook photos show a bubbly 17 year old smiling beside her horse. Longtime neighbor Matt De Niro. You can't really be doing well in a situation like this. You can just try to take it, you know, one hour at a time. Hopes and prayers for Claire. Prayers for Claire. It has become a mantra in this small community as the 17 year old fights for her life. And back here live at the vigil where students are beginning to gather for their classmate Claire Davis, polling for her and really hoping that she pulls through this. They say that they wanted to come together to show their support. They are a tight knit group here and that's why they're gathering here tonight. As one student put it earlier, we did not only earn the title of warriors today, but we defined what a warrior truly is. Reporting live in Arapahoe County, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News. And Claire's family releasing a statement today read by Arapahoe County Sheriff Grayson Robinson earlier. Here's what they had to say about their daughter. Our beautiful daughter, Claire Davis, has severe head trauma as the result of a gunshot. She needs your continued prayers. We would like to thank our family, friends, the community, and the equestrian community for their outpouring of love and support, as well as the school for their continued support of the students and teachers. We would also like to express our gratitude to the first responders and the trauma team at Littleton Adventist Hospital for saving our daughter's life and quickly getting her into surgery. Claire is still in critical condition and your prayers are appreciated. At this time, we ask that you respect our wishes for privacy for us and the hospital. Thank you for your continued support, love and prayers, the Davis family. Claire was the only student shot at Arapahoe High School yesterday.